At exactly 9.37 a.m. on Saturday the 20th of March 2021, the sun will be directly over the equator. The sun will start to set at the South Pole and start to rise at the North. From now until September, the South Pole won't see a single glimpse of sun and the North Pole will have sunshine 24-7. This moment where the sun is exactly over the equator and that changeover of sun from south to north happens is called the vernal equinox or the spring equinox. When the sun next finds itself in this position, it will be the 22nd of September 2021 and that moment is called the autumn equinox. On the equinoxes, the days are almost 12 hours long for almost everywhere on the planet. And that's because the sun is casting a light perfectly perpendicular to the Earth's axis. Out of all the solstices and equinoxes, the spring equinox is probably the most awaited. It signifies the start of summer here in the Northern Hemisphere. And it's the very moment that our days start to become longer than our nights. So that was supposed to be the end of the video, but I checked the weather forecast and it turns out that the moment where the days start to become longer than the nights appears to be around two days before. In fact, yes, Thursday the 18th, you can see the sun rises at 6.17 and the sunset is at 6.18. That is exactly 12 hours, give or take a minute. So why is that? I think there's some more explanation needed here. So the confusion around calculating sunset and sunrise times starts with our definition of sunset and sunrise. Sunrise is determined as the moment that the top of the sun appears above the horizon, whereas sunset is determined as the moment that the top of the sun disappears below the horizon. So as you can see, there's this extra chunk of the sun on either side, which makes the days slightly longer than, than they should be, essentially. So there we go, confusion over. Or is it? You see, the other issue is that our atmosphere refracts light, which means that it can make light go around corners. Now this effect is also responsible for mirages and when boats mysteriously float above the surface of the water. But that is a topic for another video. Materials of different densities allow light to travel through them at different speeds. So if the density of an object changes in space, i.e. one side is more dense than the other, then light will bend as it travels through. The atmosphere causes the light from the sun to bend slightly over the horizon, so we actually see the sun before we can see the sun. Now this is almost impossible to account for when you're calculating the times for sunset and sunrise because it changes all the time. It depends on the pressure and the temperature of the air between the viewer and the sunset. The day that the sunset and sunrise are around 12 hours apart on the weather forecast is called the equilux, and it can be different for almost everywhere on the planet. So now that that's cleared up, let's get back to that outro. <laughs> 